Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you today? How is everything going? How is your life with the rain? Is it raining near your, near your houses? Está lloviendo ahí por sus casas. No. Ahorita no. Pero en la mañana. Oh, sí. In the morning, really. <laughs> Quiere. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, aquí también en media clase. Cuando uh, yeah. no. Yes. Yesterday it was raining really hard in the middle of the class. And yeah, after, well, here in San Salvador, it was after the class. And it started to rain really hard. Well, welcome everybody, Mr. Ronald, welcome. Mr. Jorge, Dieguito, Wendy, Mr. Luis, Janira, Carlita, Miss Paola Iglesias, how are you? <laughs> It is nice to see all of you here and for sure to have the opportunity to uh, enjoy another day of learning in another class, right? Well, today, eh, during the day, I had the chance to send you an image with the information about present continuous, right? And that is just a little bit of what we are going to study today. And we're going to see the different uh, uses of this tense because it is a very friendly tense. I think present continuous and the future are the easiest things in grammar in English. So those are the two friendly things in grammar. Did you have the chance to see the chart that I sent you? Pudieron ver el cuadrito que les envié? Yes. Yes. Is it difficult to understand the present continuous? No. No. Okay. So, in in like in simple things, the present continuous is the one that you use to talk about the actions that are taking place at that moment, right? So, that is what you use it for. You use the present continuous to talk about actions that are happening on the moment, right? And I am going to show you a couple of examples here. But first, I wanted to have all of you connected. Good, very good. Okay, so I think it's this one. Yes, it is. Okay. And this is number nine. Okay, I am going to open the, the PowerPoint so I can show it to you. So how was your day, my dear students? You said that it was good, bad, so-so. How was it? ¿Qué tal les fue ahora? ¿Qué tal estuvo su día? Bad. <laughs> Bad? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> My God, yeah, yesterday was bad. Today was bad. What happened? Como testigo. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, oh, of course. God. So, but why, why was it bad? ¿Qué lo hizo malo? A ver. The machine. Oh, what? It, it didn't work? No, no funcionaba? No, estaba mala desde ayer. Oh, es my God. Indicado. Creo que es mejor. <laughs> no le dejan las cosas como ella quiere y da mil problemas. <laughs> it's a lady. It's a lady machine. Well, I always say that you don't have to feel nervous or you don't have to feel stress in front of a machine. Because if not, they feel it, right? They definitely feel it. Ellas sienten cuando uno está estresado. So you better not. You better not feel stress in front of them. No, no, no. 
it is impossible because when you feel a stress in front of a machine, it says like, ah, I need to ruin, definitely. I tengo que arruinar. <laughs> It, it happens with the printers, it happens with any machine, with the computers, huh? with the internet. When you are downloading something and you say, like, I need to do it. So, no, no kids. It is, it is not good to feel stress in front of them. Well, according to the chart that I sent you today, what can you tell me about the present continuous? Okay, de acuerdo al, al cuadro que les envié este día. ¿Qué me pueden decir del present continuous? Ajá. Um, yo vi, teacher, que a los verbos se les agrega el ING. Ajá. Ok, you add ING to the verbs. Definitely. Ok, you add ING to the verbs. What else? Yo lo veo casi igual a simple presente, o lo que los verbos igual y en eh, se puede responder con yes, I am, yes, uh -huh. y, o algo así. Uh -huh. Ok, is it, is it the same as in simple present? Are you sure? Según dice que se usa solamente en dos ocasiones. Uh -huh. Para decir lo que estamos haciendo ahora o para lo que haremos en el futuro. Exactly like that, right? You have the two options, right? For actions that are taking place right now and for actions that can be that can take place in the future, right? So those are the two forms that you can have for the present continuous. Okay, something else that you can have about the present continuous? What is the difference with the verbs? The difference with the verbs is? that you use ing right you use ing with the verbs aha uh -huh. but there is something else that you use be besides the ing aparte del ing hay otra cosa que ocupamos what is something else that we use the verb to be the verb to be right we use the ing form and we use the verb to be how do we make the sentences for sure for the simple present continuous, right? Para las acciones que están tomando lugar ahorita. That's the one that we are going to start practicing. And for that one, you have very simple uh, characteristics. You have here the subject of the sentence, right? The subject, then you have the verb to be. Then you have the, the verb that you are going to use. And you add to this one the ing form, right? The verb in ing form. And then you add the complement, right? And then you put the complement of the sentence. So for this one, you have to be very careful at the moment of using it because uh, I am going to write it better here. Here you have the subject. Then you have the verb to be. Then you have the verb plus ing. And then you have the complement of the sentence. I need to have it in a long version. The complement. These are for affirmative sentences in present continuous. For negative sentences in present continuous, you are going to use the same structure, but you are going to say, you are going to add here, not, and then the verb in the ing form. And to make the questions in present continuous, you are going to move a little bit here. You are going to move the verb to be to the beginning of the sentence, right? Then you're going to have the subject. You cannot have not in a question. And then you have the verb, the ing, and the complement. And for sure, you are going to have the question mark, right? So there you have the three forms of sentences, affirmatives, negatives, and interrogatives, right? So here you have affirmative sentence. Here you have negative sentence. And in this one, you have interrogative sentences, right? You have the three forms of the present continuous. Give me one subject, 
any type of subject, cualquier sujeto. What subject will you use? ¿Qué sujeto ocupamos? It can be Diego, Maria, my mother, my sister, any subject. ¿Qué sujeto utilizamos? A ver. Luis. Ok, Luis. So, Luis, Luis is a he, right, in this case. So, you say, what is the form of verb to be that we need, what that we need for he? Luis. Is. Give me one verb. A ver, ayúdenme con un verbo. One verb. Work. Uh -huh. Work. Work. Ajá, uh -huh. hagámoslo ING. Working. working. Luis is working. Un complemento lo vamos a poner at home. Right now. Okay, Luis is working at home right now. This is the sentence that we have for an affirmative form in present continuous. As you can see here, we have all the forms. We have the subject, we have the verb to be, we have the verb in the ing, and we have the complement, right? We have all the, the structures. If we want to create it, in the negative form, the same sentence in negative. ¿Cómo lo hacemos? Not. Exactly. Luis is not working at home right now. And that's it, right? We have a negative sentence. How do we make a question? ¿Qué es lo que pasamos al principio para hacer una pregunta? The verb to be. The is. verb to be. Perfect. So we say, is, is Luis working at home right now and we make the question mark right and we have the three forms and if i ask you right now is luis working at home right now what are you going to answer no he's not no he is not because he is studying right so you say no he is not he is studying English, English with his friends, okay? No, he is not. He is studying English with his friends. So there you have the three forms of sentences. And this is the same for all the different forms. For he, she, and it, we change the verb to be. But the ing doesn't change. No me van a querer poner working. Teacher, pero es que a he, she, it se le pone S al verbo. Y aquí ya lo transformamos en ing. So you say working. You don't say workings. He is working right now. No, right? He is working right now. The only thing that changes in these cases is the verb to be, right? The verb to be is the one that is going to change. No me estén regañando a Ron. <laughs> ya llegó la mamá. So, <laughs> there you go. Give me another sentence using we. Give me one sentence using we. Hagamos una oración de todos nosotros. What are we doing? We. We are. Ajá. Uh -huh. We are. Study. We are studying. Ajá, uh -huh. but we use studying already. Give me another one. Another form of studying. ¿Qué otro sinónimo tenemos para study? A ver. What are we doing? We are. Pay attention. Paying attention. Uh -huh. Similar to study. Give me another verb that is similar to study. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, estrellita para nadie. Learning. We are learning English at English Corporative. Okay, so here we have, that's the sentence, right? We are learning English at 
inglés corporativo. Make it negative. Make it negative. We are not. Uh, we are not. We are not learning, learning <coughs> English <coughs> at corporativo. So we are not learning English at eh, Pajarito English. <laughs> Para no usar ninguna competencia. Right? We are not learning no. English at Pajarito English. No. Esa es otra academia de allá por, por Chalatenam. And how do you make a question? How do you make a question with the first one? Are And we, we say, are we, we, right? Are we, are we learning English at English Corporativo? And there you have it. Are we learning English at English Corporativo? And the question mark, it's very important, right? So that's the form. I'm going to put it down here. That's the three forms of things. Tell me, what are the people in your house doing right now? Si usted se pone a observar a todos los que están en su casa, incluyendo el gato y el perro, what mm -hmm. are they doing right now? Write some sentences in your notebook. My mother is, my father is, my brother is, my sister is, my wife is. Write some sentences in your notebook. Okay, write sentences. And if they are not in the house, invent the sentences, right? Si su mamá no está porque anda en inglés, okay, si su mamá no está porque anda en inglés, so like my mother is attending the church. My father is working, my brother is cooking, my sister is dancing, my mom is watching TikTok. I don't know. But what are they doing? Write sentences about the people in your house. What are they doing right now? Okay, I cannot see many cameras today. I cannot see Jorgito. I can I know Edwin because he's in the car. Ah, uh, he's there. Haha. Uh -huh. Catering, I cannot see Diego, Karencita, Mr. Walter, Isabel. Oh, Teacher, Jorge. No, no. Ah. <laughs> Isabel no, is there. No tengo energía. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, no, no. Turn it off. Apaga, si no se le acaba la batería del set. Por eso. <laughs> oh. Isabel misteriosa. For sure, because you are in the darkness. Jorgito, do you have a migraine? Tiene dolor de cabeza, Jorgito. Oh. Un poco, una manzana ahí. Un poco de ansiedad. <laughs> ansiedad, guay. Porque tienes ansiedad. Ya es padecimiento desde hace mucho. <risa> yeah, I understand. Yeah. El estrés. Sí. Ya somos dos. Hay una me frase estoy... que me ayuda un montón a mí. Si yo me muero, todos los demás se van a quedar felices. Y todos van a comer tamales. Así que no les vamos a dar ese gusto. <risa> I always say that because I, 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 I always have like this anxiety about everything and I say like no y si yo me muero todos van a quedar bien felices y de repente en su casa otro Jorge ah, <ríe> ah pues no ya no se murió la ansiedad <ríe> no Jorge I, I understand I understand how difficult that is but relax I mean yeah take it easy busque un dulcito un cafecito ahí. el dulce Some... es malo Suele genera más ansiedad. Él se, él se sonrió con el dulcito, Isabel. Como... <risa> <risa> él quería uno. <risa> ok, good. Do you have the info about the people in your house? What are they doing? What are the people in your house doing? I can say that my son is doing homework. And my husband is fighting with the homework. My dog is sleeping under the desk, right? And 
I think she's not doing anything. And that's it. That's my house. The only three people that I have here. Como ponemos que la soledad está tranquila. <laughs> the loneliness is quiet. The loneliness is not doing anything to use ING. Do you live alone, Isabel? Yes. Ah, but do you have a cat or a dog or something? No? Nothing. So tell me about the cat and the dog. What are they doing? No me gustan. Son un, un compromiso bastante grande. Oh, yeah. That, I, they, it is, it is, yeah. You cannot go anywhere because you need to, you need to have them there and you have to take care of them. No puedes ir a ningún lado porque they are there. Okay, so let me see. Who has the information ready? A ver. Roder, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, so te, vi, te vi la intención. <laughs> My mother is eating. Eating, uh huh. A cookie. And my mother is eating a cookie, uh huh. My dog is sleeping right now. <laughs> it's sleeping. My dog is sleeping, uh huh. Right now. Hey, my father is working. Your father is working. Okay. And Ronald? Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? How do you say gender <laughs> Ronald is answering to the teacher. <laughs> He is answering the teacher. Good, very good. Thank you, Ronald. Good sentences, very good examples. Let's see, Mr. Walter. My mother is watch TV. Watching. My mother is watching. Watching TV. Mm. My father is working. My father is working. Uh -huh. What else? Y yo. And en you. Se dice, en mí. <laughs> en mí. Uh -huh. En mí. <laughs> Me. I and me, in that case you say, and I am, and then you give me the, the answer. And I am. And I am. What are you doing? And I am studying. And I am studying. And I am studying, studying, right, with ING, with ING form. Good. Mr. Luis, go ahead. Okay. My mother is watching TV right now. My brother is playing soccer on his cell phone. On his cell phone, good. My sister is cooking the dinner right now. <laughs> cooking dinner, uh-huh. Yeah. My cat and dog are sleeping in the yard. They are sleeping in the yard. Hey, ya va a llover, hombre. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I am writing sentences right now in the class. I am writing sentences right now in the class. Very good job. I am writing sentences right now in the class. Excellent. Good sentences. Normita. Norma. Uh, my dog is sleeping right now. My my daughter is watching videos. Videos. Uh, my cat is is playing right now. It's playing, huh? My mother is cooking dinner. My mother is cooking dinner. Very good job. Thank you, Norma. Good sentences. Diego, go ahead. My mother watching TV. Is with... my mother is 
My mother is watching TV. My father, I don't know. <laughs> um, and I am uh, learning English. I am learning English, right? My father, I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good, very good. Thank you, Diego. Excellent sentences. Mr. Jorge. Estaba en eso, pero me faltaba la última, pero bueno. Okay, go ahead. Uh, my brother working at night. My brother is working. He's working. working. Uh, my sister is learning language. Learning languages, uh huh. Language. My father working in the morning. Okay, my father is working in the morning. In that mm -hmm. case, we cannot say my father is working in the morning because we are using sentences about right now. Estamos ocupando las de ahorita. ¿Qué estamos haciendo? ¿Qué está haciendo su papá ahorita? Eh... No, es my father is que se me olvidó como que le dije ayer de tejer <laughs> sewing 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 eh, next ne cast next creo que de tarraya que le dije ah de 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 eh, fish net fish net fish net the fish eh, net ajá uh -huh. Mm, right now, creo que es como. Right now, uh, yes. Right now. And what else? Solo tres, la verdad. <laughs> yes, <laughs> only three. Let's see. Catherine Rosibel. Catherine. Esta teacher está perdida. <laughs> Welcome. My well mother done. is cookie. Okay. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice hija? <laughs> my daughter. My daughter. Uh, my daughter is a student. A studying. Study. A study. Y I am studying English. I am studying English. Very good job. Carla Patricia. My mother is a Eat chicken, my son is not watching TV. My sister is learning the book in I am studying English. I am studying English, right? I am studying English. Good. Very good. And let's go with one of the last ones. Isabel, go ahead. I am studying English. And <laughs> That's it, right? Because yeah, you are you are alone. Karencita. ¿Cuántas eran? Only three, only three. Um, cinco. Uh -huh. My daughter is playing right now. My brother is checking his motorcycle. Uh -huh. My 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 mother is watching Netflix. Netflix. Good. Netflix, uh huh. My sister is doing her homework. My pet is sleeping right now. My pet is sleeping right now. Very good job. So thank you very, very much, my dear class, for the examples that uh, you just shared, right? It is a very good way to practice, right? To think about the people that you have at home, right? What are they doing right now? And we are going to go over first over a little game that I have ready for you. And then we're going to go over some exercises. In this one, we are going to go and here you have a little chart. And I need you please to help me read the color or of the word, not the word. I need you to help me to read the color of the word but not the word. If I ask you here, si les pregunto por este, what is the color of the word? Red. Red, right? What about this one? 
Yellow. Yellow. Blue. Blue. Green. 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 Yellow. Yellow. Green. Blue. Yellow. Yellow. Blue. Blue. without mistakes. ¿Quién cree que lo puede hacer rápido y sin errores? <risa> Ajá. Y sin marquita. <risa> De una unidad de la plataforma. No, I'm kidding. Nah, hablado y... <risa> de la unidad uno de la plataforma. <risa> you have it ready. Ajá. Who can say this without the marks and without mistakes? Ajá. Diego, go ahead. Vamos, Diego. Bueno, el principio está desde la buena. Yeah, for sure. The, the, this, starting with the okay. first one, here. Red, yellow, blue, green, yellow, red, eh, green, blue, yellow, blue, red, eh, green, red, blue, yellow, green, eh, blue, yellow, green, eh, red, red, blue, yellow, green, eh, blue, Yellow, yellow. <laughs> <laughs> you were almost, almost right. Like, what's like green, green? Ah, green, green. Thank green, you, but green. it wasn't, it was a good thing. I got for Diego. Okay, he, he did it up to here, right? Diego, it was okay. A ver, otro voluntario who thinks that he can beat Diego. Christian, go ahead. Okay, red. Red, green, yellow, blue, blue green, green, yellow, yellow red, red, green, blue, green, yellow, blue, blue red, blue, green, red, blue, blue yellow, uh, green, blue, yellow, green, red, red, <laughs> blue, yellow, green, green, blue, yellow, red, white, black. Hey, you finished with all of them. Yay, very good job. Excellent, Christian. Reactions for Christian people. Jorge, vamos, hoy sí. Jorge lo estaba haciendo en segunda persona. ¿eh? Vamos, Jorge. Red, yellow, blue, green, yellow, red. Green, blue, yellow. Blue, red, eh, green, red, blue, yellow, green, blue, yellow, eh, green, red, red. Blue, yellow, green, green, eh, blue, yellow, red, right, black. It is a yellow, you say yellow, yellow. It was a good thing, right? It was a good challenge. It was a very good challenge. Thank you, my dear students, right? It was a very good thing, right? It was a very good challenge for your brain, right? For you to wake up and say like, what's going on in here? Ah, what's going on in this picture? Well. We're going to work right now and we are going to analyze this little picture that we have here. In this picture, we have many people doing different things. What are they doing in the picture? What activities do you see that they are doing? I need you to send me the activities on the chat. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Send me the activities on the chat. You can say he, she, they, and then you write the activities. He is playing guitar. Okay, send it on the chat. Oh, oh, oh. Send it on the chat. <coughs> on the Zoom chat, okay? They eat. <coughs> Complete sentence, I-N-G. We eat sandwich. 
Remember the form of the ING. Let's see if I have it here still. Remember the form. Remember the form. Okay. He is doing this. She is doing that. Okay. Remember the form and let's continue with the pictures. Okay. The verb to be and the ING. Continue. I have four messages. The girls, uh -huh. Ooh, tenemos un montón de madera que cortar aquí. She is calling for the phone. They are eating sandwich. She played the guitar. Okay. <coughs> Continue sending me the messages. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Ah, sí, okay. They is studying. Ooh. They is studying. Analyze the sentences. Analyze the sentences before you send them. Antes que me las envíen, leanlas unas tres veces. Continue. I continue receiving your sentences. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Ooh, I have 11 messages. He's drawing, he's learning a book, he's drawing, she's calling, he's drawing or coloring. He's painting, the boy is drawing a horse. He's writing on the table. They is, uy, they is. <clears throat> they is drawing a Okay, I keep receiving. I have five more, that's perfect. Okay, continue sending me more information. Continue sending me more information. Excellent, excellent. I have more. They are eating, they are listening music. She is writing, she is talking on the phone, he's reading a book, they is eating sandwiches, he is drinking juice, she is listening to music, good. He is drinking soda. Okay. No more sentences. He is painting. Good, 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 good. He is drinking. So remember that we always use capital letter at the beginning, people. Siempre la mayúscula al principio. How do you say the constitution in English? Resting. Resting. She is resting, resting, R-E-S-T-I-N-G, resting. Okay, no more? No more sentences? And we're going to check. If you don't have more sentences, we are going to check. Okay. So important, the verb to be. The verb to be, it's very important on the sentences, right? We need to write the verb to be. That is the first thing that you need to remember. It is important not to forget it, right? Not to forget the verb to be. And the capital at the beginning of the sentence, right? Siempre la mayúscula al principio. That's very important, right? It's very important. And when we use they, right? Don't forget the why. Que no se les olvide la Y en they, porque si no me ponen de, they is, they is working. That's not correct, right? Okay, so let's go here. Let me see. I will move my camera. Hey, I cannot make it smaller. Let's start with the first one, right? Nos vamos a ir a las primeritas. And it says, teacher, vengo llegando, me voy conectando. They eat, la primerita. Si quieren, ustedes abran el chat y la van revisando junto conmigo. Y dice, they eat. 
Isabel was the first one. They are eating, right? They are eating. We eat sandwich, no dijo Gerardo. It's we are eating sandwiches. She played the guitar. She is playing the guitar, right? She is playing the guitar. And that's the form of the sentence, right? She is playing the guitar. And here you have, she is calling for the phone. She is calling on the phone, right? She is calling on the phone. And the most common thing is to say like that she's talking on the phone, right? She's talking on the phone. Ahí sería la corrección de esa, de esa oración. She is talking on the phone. Okay, and the next one that we have here, the girls is playing the guitar, Carla Patricia. The girls is plural. So with the plural form, you need to say, the girls are playing the guitar. Okay. Sí, teacher, they, el autocorrector me falló. No, 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 no confiemos en ese. The next one says, they are eating sandwich. That's correct. El único que faltó ahí, Ronald, fue el punto. They are eating sandwich. She is paying the guitar. Christian Rodriguez, ¿está pagando la guitarra? No, Are me equivoco. Sure? <laughs> she is playing, right? She is playing the guitar. Catherine Rosibel dice, they is studying. And in this case, it's they are studying, right? They are studying. Okay, the next one. Kiara. She listening to music. Sorry, sorry. Eso es lo malo de tener un pequeño león en tu casa. Oyen, lo, oyen los ladridos de la Kiara en el micrófono. Sí, es un poco fuerte. Y está hasta allá a la entrada de la casa. So, tengo un pequeño caballo aquí. She is listening. Right? Listening. And in this case, you say, she is listen, listening with T. Right? She is listening to music. And the next one, uh, he is drinking the juice right now. He is drinking the juice right now. In this case, Luis Parrilla, it's correct, right? She's playing the guitar. Hi, is drinking. Hi, <laughs> hasta la corrección. He is learning a book. No podemos estar learning a book. He is reading a book. He is reading a book. Okay, he is reading a book. And the next one, let's say, they are in a meeting of friends. They are in a meeting with friends. They are in a meeting with friends. Okay, and let's continue here. She is speaking cell phone, this is Wendy. She is talking on the phone. She is talking on the phone. Okay, that is another one. Let's continue. They are relaxing on the sofa. Isabel, it's correct. La única cosa que teníamos en esa oración es que they tendría que ser con mayúscula. She is talking on the phone. He is drawing on the book. Drawing, Ernesto. ¿Cómo es? It's drawing with A, right? She is drawing on the book. They is resting in the sofa, Diego. They, ¿qué vamos a ocupar con they? Uh, they are resting in the sofa, right? They are resting in the sofa. She is talking on the phone. Okay, that's correct. They are listening music. He's resting on the sofa. He's painting. He's reading a book. He's drinking soda. Diego Jose, mayúscula al principio. He is eating a sandwich. They are eating sandwich. ¿Cómo se escribe sandwich? Sandwich. Okay sandwich they are listening music they are eating she is writing she's talking on the phone he's reading a book they is eating sandwiches they are right they are eating sandwiches he is drinking juice he is reading she is listening to music okay he is <laughs> learning a book she is calling uh, he is painting the book is drawing a horse must escribe horse horse like this right he's drawing a horse how do you know that he's drawing a horse ah uh, yeah it's a horse <laughs> I no lo había visto. he is writing on the table they is learning a book they are they are reading a book right so there you have these 
things that I am correcting right now, you have to pay attention to them. Okay, todas esas correcciones que les he hecho ahí tienen que tener mucho cuidado porque el inglés es así, una palabrita, una cosa mal escrita y no meaning at all, right? No significa nada o eh, le cambiamos el significado a todo, right? So we need to be very careful with that one. Let's go here and I am going to send you on the phone right now an exercise, okay? You have an exercise on the phone. Work on that one. Les acabo de enviar un ejercicio a su WhatsApp. Let's do it. They are only 16 sentences. So please work. <laughs> Alguien ya lo abrió ya. Y su musiquita. Okay. Hello, Mauricio, Comayagua, welcome. Hello, teacher. Lo extrañamos ayer. Igual. Ah, because you didn't connect. Ayer que no se nos conectó. Or it was on Friday, eh, I don't remember. Uh -huh. Saliendo del trabajo, saliendo del trabajo, igual que ahora que trabajé hasta las 7, tuve que, tuve un, un percance familiar. Oh, eh, sí. Quería ir, eh, solo de oyente en el carro, pero ya no andaba carga en el celular. No, I know, that's really bad. No, and, and if it was an emergency, it's better to attend the emergency. A veces en la emergencia, uno mejor hay que enfocarse en la emergencia. So... But is everything okay? Pero ya está todo bien? Yes. Okay, that's the important part. Okay, Thank you. work on the exercise. Remember to send me the result at the end. There you have it on your WhatsApp. You look very concentrated. <laughs> Todos se ven bien concentrados. <laughs> I love your on your phone. Me equivoqué en una, la puedo volver a hacer. <laughs> yeah, you can do it again, don't worry. Pueden hacer una, dos, quince, cuarenta veces, don't worry. Diego y Luis Parrilla, very good. Teacher, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Quería saber cómo entrar. Exercise on WhatsApp. Les acabo de enviar un ejercicio en WhatsApp, que es el que estamos haciendo ahorita. Ah, bueno, ahorita voy a ver. Teacher. Teacher Nati. Yes. Me equivoqué, yes. no, no, porque se me cayó el teléfono. <laughs> y por <laughs> error lo toqué el que no era. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. That was 15, 15 of 16. It's okay. That's that's perfect, right? 15, 16 is done excellent. They, they are very easy, right? It's a very easy exercise. The exercise is está, está suavecito, está facilito. Teacher, ya lo hice, pero no sé cómo mandárselo al WhatsApp. No, just take a picture. Oh, oh, what was your punctuation? ¿Cuánto te sacaste? 15. Ah, good, 15, very good. 15, Oh, <laughs> no perfect. You know. No perfect. <laughs> no, but it was good. That was good. If you made one mistake, it's it's perfect. It's understandable. But that was good. That that was an an easy exercise, right? I am going to look for another one more difficult. <clears throat> Not teacher, okay? <laughs> See. So, 
for tomorrow I am going to send you one that it's about sentences. El que le puedo enviar mañana es uno de oraciones. Hey, ¿quién se sacó 14? Yo, teacher, me equivoqué. <laughs> but check, check the ones, check the ones that, uh, that you made mistakes of, okay? Siempre revisen en cuáles se equivocan. ¿Para qué? Pues, obviamente. Ya lo revisé, teacher, lo volví a pasar. <laughs> So, and did you fix it? ¿Lo pudiste arreglar? No, teacher. Sí, le di, le di la corrección, pero ya, ya la calificación quedó así. Yeah, quedó so así. you uh -huh. finished it. Okay, that's very good. Hey, I got more. 16, 16, very good. I really like these exercises. They are nice and easy. Right? Nice and easy exercises. Okay, and I am going to give you one, but that is going to be for later. Okay, le voy a dejar otro, pero eso es para más tarde. Le pueden hacer después. Because el it's de abrir a little la cajita, bit. Teacher. Sorry? El de abrir la cajita está más fácil. <laughs> yeah, that's easy. Just, just to copy that one, right? And that's it. Because uh, this one is going to take you a little bit longer. Uh, the second exercise that I am going to share right now, it is a little bit longer because you need to organize the sentence. So you can take time for that one later on, okay? Les dejo otro regalito para más noche, por si despiertan a medianoche y quieren. A mí me dice que no es posible tomar captura de la pantalla. Oh, okay, so private your phone, come on. How much did you get? ¿Cuánto te sacaste? 16. 16, okay, good, good, good. It's correct, it's good. So. Good exercises, people. And the second one that I send you is for later. Okay, ese se lo dejo para más tarde. Lo pueden hacer otro ratito. Well, before we move on into the next exercise, I am going to call the attendance. Le voy a pasar lista antes de que los mande al siguiente ejercicio. Let's go with Cristian Eduardo. Presente. Thank you. Denis Gerardo. Presente. Diego José. Presente. Edwin Ernesto. Present. Edwin Mauricio. Presente. Eh, Jorge Antonio. Presente, teacher. Karen Lisset. Karen Lisset Blanco. Presente. Carla Patricia. Carlita Patricia. Presente, teacher. Okay, let's continue here with uh, Catherine Rosibel. Presente. The next one is Luis Humberto. Luis Humberto is busy finishing the exercise. <laughs> Norma Yamilet. Present. Ronald Ulises. Present. Thank you. Victor Manuel. Sí, presente, presente. Thank you. Walter Enrique. Presente. Wendy Beatriz. Presente. Isabel Fuentes. Presente. Thank you very much. Hey, we have perfect attendance only for Johnny's. Ah, oh, we had perfect attendance today. Very good job. Thank you. Okay. No le tengo un videojuego a los gamers porque los pierde. Yeah, the other one, teacher. No, okay. <laughs> there you go. Mira, me lo puede mandar en formato God of War. <laughs> teacher, el de las cajitas a mí tampoco me dejó tomar captura de la, de la puntuación. Of the last one, it's okay, don't worry. But how much did you make? Mm. ¿Qué tal le fue en el de las cajitas? Excellent. Excellent. Okay, good. So let's continue, my dear students. Let's continue with the exercises that we have here. And for sure, with the presentation, right? And here we go. Let me just open here. And we're going to start a little bit with the presentation of the present continuous, just to make a little bit clearer what we just studied, right? And for sure, another Thing that I wanted to share 
is that with present continuous, we have yes, no questions, and for sure, we have uh, WH questions, right? That is another thing to point out with this one. If you have the questions with the verb to be, we also have questions with WH, okay? Are you living at home now? Is your sister working for the government? Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? These are questions with the verb to be. And here we also have questions with WH. Where are you working right now? What is your brother doing these days? Who are your parents visiting this week, right? With where, what, who, how, right? So you can also have questions like this. So don't feel like, hey, I have never seen one of these ones, right? But you have with the verb to be, and we have with WH forms. So continuing with the practice, this was just a, a point that I wanted to mark there. So solo un puntito que les quería dejar ahí claro. We are going to go to this one. Here I have the presentation. Let me share it for everybody. Here we go. So in this one, in which cases does it say that you use the present continuous? Can you help me to read? Mauricio, como ya help me. Aprovechando que tiene el micrófono. The present continuous tense. The present continuous tense is most often used to talk about action that are happening right now at the same moment that the sentence is spoken. We use the verb, <coughs> the verb. Uh, for example, I am studying, 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 studying English now. Or she is driving a car now. She is driving a car now, <coughs> right? So let's go back here. I think this one, oh no, this one is done here. Let me just erase this thing. It's four o'clock in the morning. What are you doing? It's four o'clock in the morning. What are you doing? ¿Qué están haciendo a las cuatro de la mañana? I am sleeping. I am sleeping. What are you doing at four o'clock in the morning? All of you are sleeping? Yes. It's 8.30 in the morning. What are you doing? Son las 8 y 30 de la mañana. ¿Qué están haciendo? I am working. I am working. I am working, right? I am working. It is noon. What are you doing? Son las 12. ¿Qué están haciendo? I am working. 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 You don't, yeah. you don't eat lunch at noon. No comen a las 12. Lunch. Uh, I am lunch. Okay. I am okay. lunch. Si yo le digo, I am lunch, ¿qué significa esto? Almuerzo. No, almuerzo. No, almuerzo. No, almuerzo. Si yo le digo, I am lunch. Estoy almorzando. Estoy almuerzo. I am lunch. Yo soy almuerzo. Yo soy almuerzo. Hi, nice to meet you. I am lunch. I am lunching. No, right? I had I had I am eating. I am eating. I am lunching. I am eating uh, lunch, right? I am eating me. lunch. Me, me estoy comiendo el almuerzo, right? I am eating lunch. Okay, it is 1.30 in the afternoon. ¿Qué están haciendo? La una y media. La anterior. Yo la anterior. Which one? Yo la anterior. Uh, ah, okay, <laughs> so in this case, it, that, that's a good one, Luis, that you explained. So you say, I am eating lunch, but some of you are working i am working still right because you don't go out at at noon but at 1 30 in the afternoon luis is going to be eating lunch 
but the rest of you, what are you going to be doing? ¿Qué van a estar haciendo los demás? I am working. I am working, I am working right? While Luis is having lunch. Very nice, right? Okay. okay. I am eating lunch. Let's see. Eh, there you go. <laughs> Se me había bloqueado el top. It's a quarter to four in the afternoon right now. Un cuarto a las cuatro. What are you doing? I am working. I am working. I am waiting for the bell to ring. I am waiting for the bell to ring. I am bedroom. Oh, really? <laughs> Okay, I am waiting for the bell to ring. I am waiting for the bell to ring. I am waiting for the bell to ring in the restroom. Okay, hello, sí, jefe, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo está? <laughs> tengo, tengo información valiosa. Perdiendo el tiempo. I am waiting for the bell to ring in the restroom. Okay, you are doing, you are just sitting there, right? Contando los minutos. 5.30 in the afternoon. What are you doing? Son las cinco y media. ¿Qué están haciendo? I am coming. Taking the, the bus. I, take, I, am, I, I am taking, I am taking the, bus. the bus. The bus. The bus. Uh -huh. I am riding on the bus or I am coming back home. I am coming back home, right? So you say okay. I am taking the bus, I am riding on the bus or I am coming back home. Those are the things that you are doing. It is eight o'clock in the evening. What are you doing? Son las ocho de la noche. What are you doing? Hey, <laughs> and it's eight o'clock. <laughs> I am studying English. English corporative. I am studying English. Casi pocas veces cuando hago el lesson me pego a acabar la oración con lo que estoy haciendo. I am studying English. It is 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. 8.04. It's 10.30 in the evening. What are you doing? 10 y media. I am sleeping. Sleeping, they say. Uh -huh. <laughs> Watching yes. Netflix at 10.30. <laughs> what are you doing? No. What, are, what are you really doing at 10.30? What are you really doing at 10.30? I'm sleeping. 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 Mm -hmm. Watching English videos in YouTube, checking the class in YouTube. I am preparing anything for preparing everything. Uh -huh. For uh, mañana uh, morning. Everything for the next day. Okay. Yeah, okay. I am preparing everything for the next day. So those are the things that you do, right? During your day. And in this case, it says like, it is noon now. Para que nos imaginemos que estamos en ese momento del día, right? It is noon now. So you say, what are you doing? I am doing this. I am doing that. I am cooking. I am working, right? Depending on, on what you have. So let's continue with the explanation of the topic. And here... We have some rules about the verb to be and the changes that the different verbs have. For example, the verb make that goes with E goes with making, right? Writing, drive, driving, right? In the case of get, for example, you say getting with double T, right? Lo que son consonante, vocal, consonante, casi siempre se dobla la consonante y se agrega ING. Run, running, swim, swimming, right? With double M at the end. Reviewing in Duolingo, they say, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. They, in it's this a, case, yes? I have a question. Yes, is the, a... Del anterior, cuando decía de la 
página anterior que tenía a la presentación de ahorita. ¿La podría poner, por favor? I have it right here. Yep. Esa. No, abajo, por favor. En donde dice. Permítame. Dice. I am riding on the bus. Ah, riding. I am riding on the bus. Riding because it's coming from the verb ride. Que es montar, estar, estar montado en el bus, estar venir en el bus. I am riding on the bus. It's not like you're like, yay, <laughs> on the top of the bus, right? Pues sería como bien chévere, pero no. Riding, I am riding on the bus, quiere decir que ya vas en el bus, ya vas dentro del bus. I am riding on the bus. ¿Por qué? Porque no puedes decir, I am driving on the bus, porque no lo vamos manejando nosotros, right? I'm I am riding is que... So, sleeping on the bus. This is the, in good Salvadorian is montado. Voy montado en el bus. In some cases, venimos colgados, right? I am hanging on the bus. But in this case, that's the verb we use, right? I am riding on the bus, that it's like you are inside. Viene de este verbo, okay? No, and a very good question, Isabel, because that one is for the first example. Ese queda en el primero de los ejemplos. In this one, right? There you have. Very good observation. I really like that when you are very uh, observative. In this one, in this type of verbs, we don't double the last letter. Say help, helping, right? Talk, talking, work, working. And in this one, look, looking, read, reading, speak, speaking. And in this one, snow, snowing, fixing, and buying, right? We don't change it here. In this case, how would you transform this one? I am watching TV with my family. I am going to say number two is for Carla Patricia. Okay, number two is for Carla Patricia. I am going to write your name here. Después se me olvida. Here you have for Carla Patricia. Number three is going to be for Isabel. Okay, this is going to be for Isabel. Number four, oh, sorry. Number two, it's going to be for Luis Correa. Number five is going to be for Ronald. Number six is going to be for Jorge. Number seven is going to be for Edwin Gallegos. Edwin Gallegos. Number eight is going to be for Edwin Mauricio. Edwin Mauricio. Then number nine is going to be for Karen. Number 10 is going to be for Catherine. Number 11 is going to be for Dennis. And the last one is going to be for Diego. Okay, salvado por la campana los demás. Because I don't have more. Solo en YouTube. Solo en YouTube. Busquemos en YouTube. So, give me the answers for that one. Number two. Okay, number two. Why are you stopping the car? Where are you stopping the car? How do you spell stopping? Como de letra stopping? Um, S T. Uh -huh. O P P. Uh, I. <laughs> ya la termino. <laughs> Ajá. Eh, M, G. Ajá. Tenemos que hacer doble P en stopping. Sí. Tan, 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 tan. Ajá. Vamos a ver. Sí. Ok. In the case of the double letter. We have it only, only right in the consonant, vowel consonant. Is it correct to double the P in a stop? ¿Qué dice el público? ¿Qué dicen los demás? Yes. It's correct. It's a good sentence. ¿Metemos las manos al fuego por Luis? No. No, teacher. Words. Uh -huh. Sure. It is correct. It is correct, right? Stopping is with double P. 
sí lleva doble P. It's stopping. Y todo. ¿Meterían las manos al fuego por leer? No. <risa> Sorry. Yo sí. Ya, yeah, bendita. Yes. Yo dije sí. El brazo. <risa> sí. Carla, go ahead. The next one. Julia is. Spell it, is. please. Julia is. Launching. Launching. Ah. L. U. U. N. C. H I N G. In English, please. Come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. L U N C H I N G. No. No. No, no, no. What is the verb? ¿Eh? ¿Cuál es el verbo que estamos transformando, Carlita? Ah. Uh -huh. Sorry, teacher. Es que estaba anotando las otras en el cuaderno. Having, right. Julia is having lunch in the cafeteria. Isabel, let's go. My wife and I are plan. Um, P L A N N I N G. Planning, right? Because you have P L, right? P L. A N N I N G. Okay. In this one, look at this one. It says here, do not double the letter if the word ends in two consonants, right? Si terminan dos consonantes, no hacemos doble letra. Do not double the letter if the word ends in two vowels and a consonant. Si son dos vocales y consonantes, no la vamos a hacer doble. Do not double the letter if the word ends in W, X, or Y. W, X, or Y. In this case, you have stop, two consonants, the O and the P. You double the letter. Two consonants, the A and the N. You double the, the N, okay? Por eso estas llevan doble consonante because they are not in any of the words. Let's go here. Richard is... Packing. How do you spell it? P A A Y I M G. Pain, right? Very good. Pain. The next one, number six, Jorge. Uh, I am taking. Taking to my friend the phone is T A L K I N G. Talking, talking. Okay, talking. It's not taking, it's talking. Because you say talk. <coughs> talk. Talking. talking. What about the next one? Edwin Gallegos. She is showing the reports to her boss. How do you spell showing? S H O W I N G. Showing. Very good job. And number eight, Edwin uh, Mauricio. My friend are meeting each other in New York. Meeting New York. each other in New York. How do you spell meeting? M E E T A I. I N G. Meeting, y. right? It's no, it's M E E T I N G. I N G. Yeah. It's correct, right? Y is Y. Entonces ahí no vamos. Number yes. nine, Karen, go ahead. I am filling the bucket with water. Filling the bucket with water. How do you spell filling? F. Um, I, I, L, L, I, N, G. Okay, filling the bucket with water. Very good. Number 10, Catherine. Cut, cutting. Cutting. <laughs> cutting. Son, son tan buenos amigos que hasta la respuesta le da. Thank you. How do you spell cutting? Cutting teacher. 
Uh -huh. But how do you spell it? Como lo ah, pero... Mm, es que con, ya, se, ya se me olvidó, ¿verdad? Yeah. <laughs> sí. ¿Aló, teacher de nivel 1? Ah. Sí. 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 Voy a mandar sí. otra vez. Sí. You... Sí, yo parece de ti. Ajá. Ti, ti. En. I-N-G. I-N-G. C-U-T-T-I-N-G. Right? ¿En qué lo voy a mandar a, a primero? A básico uno. A que me revisen el alfabeto. Number 11, Dennis. Are you eating breakfast now? How do you spell eating? E A T A I I N G. Okay, eating, eating. Very good. And the last one, Diego. I think our team. I think our team is winning the game. Winning. How do you spell winning? W I M M. Uh huh. W I M M I M G. Okay, winning the game. Very good. I think my team is winning the game. Excellent job. I was trying to check your spelling abilities, people. Quería ver qué tal andábamos ahí en el spelling. Para que, para ver cómo practicamos. That's very good. So here we have a little exercise, right? We have just started this. Ya vimos cómo es afirmativo, negativo, preguntas, yes and no answers. So here we are going to fix the paragraph, right? We are going to fix the paragraph. And we are not going to do it alone, right? Nunca hacemos estas cosas solitos, así que we are going to work together in groups of two or three, right? Hoy sí, los grupos van a ser súper chiquitos porque quiero que se concentren en lo que vamos a hacer. So here you have the, the paragraph. And I am going to send it to your chat. And we are going to work in groups of three. Lo vamos a corregir en grupos de tres. So please, in this case, yes, you are going to copy it. Okay, aquí sí, le va a tocar copiarlo. Sorry, we are going to discover your abilities. Ya lo tienen en el chat, okay? I am going to make the groups, groups of three, and I need you to write the correct form of the paragraph in your notebook. If you want to correct it and you are very technological and you want to do it in their computer, perfect, okay? Si tienen su compu, lo pueden hacer ahí, that's great but I really need you to do it on your notebook for you to practice, okay? There you go. Let me move Edwin Gallegos because I need you to be in the same room and the other ones are groups of three. Okay, let me divorce a couple of you. Voy a divorciar unos cuantos que siempre están juntos. There you go. Accept my invitation to go to the groups and correct the paragraph, okay? Correct the paragraph using ING. Thank you, Edwin y Victor. No les ha llegado mi invitación para que se unan a los grupos. Edwin, creo que me aceptó una, pero le falta la otra. Thank you. Okay, Edwin, are you going to accept the other one? Que yo no sé, si, hay que buscar si tiene errores, creo yo, el, par, el párrafo. Párrafo. Sí. Uh -huh. You need to fix the paragraph. You need to fix the paragraph. Edwin, eh, lo he agregado con ambas cuentas. 
en este grupo. No sé si va a agregar la otra también. Está, fíjese que en esta misma cuenta las dos, porque el teléfono cuando me manda no me carga, solo me carga una. Ah, ok, perfect. So I was just wondering. Solo el de la cámara, como que, como yo mi teléfono lo ocupo solo para la cámara. Ok. Porque como mi computadora no tiene. Por eso. Ok, good. Uh -huh. In this case, the paragraph has 12 mistakes. El párrafo tiene 12 errores de gramática. So please, I need you to find them. I need you to find the mistakes, ok? Son 12 errores. ¿Cuántos son? Dos. 12, 12. Yes. Oh, like like 15 or yeah, like 15 minutes. Alrededor de 15 20 minutes, okay? It, it is enough time. Le había dado 12 minutos, pero yeah, you need more. Work on that. Si alguien puede compartir pantalla para el párrafo, lo pueden hacer. There is no problem. Bueno. Go ahead. Comencemos, chicas y chicos. Go ahead. Voy a dejar que se concentre. Okay. Welcome. Hello. Now. No. No. My mother usually vacates on Wednesday, but she's not vacating now. No. He watches a cooking TV. My oldest is really Then he's really. Wait. No quiero cortarle su inspiración de lectura. Solamente vamos a corregir lo que está incorrecto del par. There are 12 mistakes. Hay 12 errores en total. No, no. Errores. ¿Cuánto dice? 12. No, I said correct the paragraph. I said I said correct the paragraph. Una letrita, I said. I am help. I am help. Uh -huh. In the primera is it, today is Saturday and my family and I and I are relaxing at home. <laughs> That's the first one I está puesto el primer. Ahí sería, o sea, sería un complemento. En este caso sería el complemento de to be. Yes, so we are missing the verb to be. So you say, my family and I are relaxing at home. My father usually washes his car on the week on the weekdays, but he no washing the car now. What is missing there? Oh, ya me but, perdí más. Ahí está en la segunda. <laughs> Dice, but he no washing the car now. What is missing there? ¿Qué le falta a esa oración? My father mm -hmm. usually washes his car on the weekdays, but he's not washing the car now. He is not. Exactly like that. So analyze mm -hmm. each sentence. Váyanse una por una y las analizan si están correctas o no. Okay. Puede ser contractado. Yeah, I don't know. You can, yeah, you can contract okay. it. That's, that's okay. okay. There's no problem. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I am okay. going to check on the next group. Si no, después a mí no me vio, no visito el mío, que no sé qué, que no sé qué. I will come back in a moment. <laughs> the boys group. There are 12 ah. mistakes on the paragraph, people. Son 12 errores los que hay en ese párrafo. So we need Buena. to fix it. 12 mistakes. Buena pista. Okay, you me have the first <laughs> 11 because I did the first one. Yo hice el primero. So you are missing 11. Ah, no. The first one that says are, el, que, el primero que les puse, el que dice, the, today is Saturday and my family and I are relaxing at home. No, pero ya hay Ajá. So you say, what is the next one? ¿Cuál es el segundo que encontraron? It's real. It's real. It's real. Mm. Is no, well, where's the leg? Like? Uh, today, okay, no, it says, my no. father usually washes his car on weekdays, Wait but he, he no. not washing the car now. Pero él no está el carro ahora. Ajá, pero ¿qué dice ahí? But he not washing the car now. Pero no está lavando el carro ahora, pero. What is missing there? ¿Qué le falta a la segunda oración? 
are? My father usually washes his yes. car on weekdays, yes. but he but no he washing. Not, he is not yes. washing. Exactly not. like that. He is not washing. He is. He is not washing. Okay. Good. Very good. So continue with the next one. Sigan ahí con las demás. Váyanse una por una. And then you are going to find the mistakes. Okay. I will come back later. Ah, Steven. Hello, hello. Hello. People, there are 12 mistakes on the paragraph. Hay 12 errores en el párrafo. So 12. we, yes, 12. Yeah, Holy <laughs> power. <of God. laughs> there are 12 mistakes. So please, I need you to find them. I did the first one. Yo les hice el primero. My family and I are relaxing at home. And it says, my father usually washes his car on weekdays, but he not washing the car now. What is missing there? ¿Qué le falta la segunda oración? La princesa, no. Cleaning. Watches. No. No. My father usually washes, porque ahí tenemos un adverb of frequency en... Está correcto. Después de un adverbio de frecuencia, el verbo va con su ES normal. His car on weekdays, but he not washing the car now. ¿Podemos decir he not washing? Um, es la segunda oración. He is not. Exactly like that. Tin, tin, tin. Estrellita para Diego. But he is not washing the car right now. So analyze each sentence. Váyanse una por una. Corregimos lo que ya estaba bueno. <laughs> <laughs> no. So we need to be very careful on that one, okay? Continue, and I am going to come back in a moment. Ya vuelvo. But she is Hello. In... Hello. Hello. Welcome. Uh -huh. Welcome back, she said. So... 12 mistakes on the paragraph. Hay 12 errores en el párrafo. 12. Yes. Yes. Yo le llamo como 3 o 4, creo. 3. Yes, Wendy, what is your question? Um, ¿Verdad que se va a utilizar tanto el verb to be en ing también? Yes. All the time, if you use the ing, you are going to use the verb to be. She is cooking, they are working, they are dancing, she is cooking, she is sleeping, whatever. So you use the verb to be and the ing. Okay. For example, here you say, today is Saturday, and my family and I are relaxing at home. And the second one says, my father usually washes his car on weekdays, but he not washing the car now. What is missing there? ¿Qué nos falta ahí? Um, but he not washing the car now. He is. Exactly, right? He is not washing the car now. And so you can continue with the exercises, okay? You have around 10 more minutes to finish. Les quedan como 10 minutitos para terminar. So you can continue with everything. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Walter. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> ya, ya. <laughs> yeah. Bye, entonces nos quedamos con la con la hermana. Bro. Okay, students are finishing the exercise about the paragraph and they are uh, actually fixing the grammar mistakes. We have 12 grammar mistakes on the paragraph that all of them are related with the use of ing forms okay so we're going to uh, go back and visit them to see how they are doing En la tercera línea que dice, he re, 
Tercera línea. Ahí se llevará eso. Play, ajá, PNG puede llevar ahí, fíjate, puede ser un error porque está leyendo. Está leyendo, link. ajá. Va. Okay. Va. Es, igual, entonces. Ese okay. puede ser mancharlo ahí. Can I give you a tip? If you put it like this, it's going to be in full screen. Si lo ponen así, el teléfono se le va a pantalla completa. ¿Quién está compartiendo? Yo. Ok, ponga el teléfono en horizontal. Ah, oh, sí. Ajá. Ah. Ya llegó. <laughs> Ay, muy tarde llegó. Porque... <laughs> There you go. Because I saw all of you like... <laughs> What does it say? <laughs> ¿Qué dice? Ya sacando los segundos ojos. Oh, ok, but, but you can see it better now. There you go. Continue, continue. Yo creo que sí, he no. is reading a book porque está leyendo, dice. Uh -huh. Sí, reading. Uh -huh, reading. Ah, ah, ahí sería reading. Reading. Uh -huh. He's reading. Y pueden tomar notas ahí en su cuaderno. It's okay. Don't worry. He's reading. Entonces. Ahí se al, al dos le agrega ING. If you want to wow. share a screen, you can do it. Si alguno de ustedes quiere compartir pantalla, you can do it. You have permission to do it. Sería. Ahí es. Doy. Do, doy. Doy. Yo creo que es. <ríe> doy. Doy. Ay, mi teacher, no la podemos escuchar. Y ese es el secreto de la eterna juventud. Ah, yeah. oh, you didn't listen. Oh. I'm very sorry. <ríe> so I was telling the children. Yo creo que sí. No, estaba okay. pensando en otra teacher. Did you finish? Ya terminé. De... No, ahorita vamos por donde All de mi hermana mayor. Dice. <laughs> My older sister. No, that I was mentioning that if you want to share the screen, you can do it. Si alguno de ustedes quiere compartir pantalla, lo puede hacer. So everybody can see. We are missing six minutes. Seis minutos nos quedan menos. Bye. Yeah, I will go and travel to the next one. Voy a pasar al otro. Very good. Did you finish? Por cual vamos? Por la última ya. Hey, that's nice. Perfect. Pero aquí ni se le se le duplica la n, chico. <laughs> Which one? To which one? A cual? Diego? Clean. Clean. Cleaning. No, in that case, no. no. Cleaning. Just IAG. Yeah. Because you have double double vowel. Tienen yeah. doble vocal. Oh. Tienen doble vocal y N, so you don't change it.
And in that case, you say, usually, I am cleaning. Y la última sería responder la pregunta. No. No, no, no. Can you, are you going to correct the sentence? How about you? What are you? Ya le dije la respuesta. What do what you doing now? Dice ahí. ¿Qué le falta a la pregunta? Do. Mm. <laughs> what, uh, what you do doing? What you do? ¿Qué se ponía al principio de la pregunta con ing? Ah, el. Yeah. So you say what? are you doing now what are you doing now okay check the paragraph people check the paragraph we are about to go go back okay two minutes are missing for students to finish the exercise they are about to come back Okay. We are missing two minutes to finish the exercise. So please catch up with your answers and hurry up. Patio. Uh -huh, sí, sí. I am cleaning the yard. But I am not. I knock. I, I am. am. I, I am, am not. Uh -huh. I am knock. I creo que I am not cleaning. I will cleaning. El ING. I am, I am not cleaning. Uh -huh. Good job. job. I am not cleaning, right? You need to use the ing form. Teacher, I no lleva la el I am. I am cleaning. Yes, you need it. Si la lleva, ¿verdad? Yes. Yeah. No, 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 está perdido. No, Todavía at no. all. That's very good. I am That's cleaning good. the yard. Usually, I am cleaning the yard, right? Good, 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 good. Bye. Bes. Y después, I am no cleaning the yeah. yard now. Uh -huh. The yard now. Mm -hmm. Now, I am. Um, she watching. She a watching. Cook. Ella, pues diría, ella mirando un show. Y diría, está diciendo, ella está mirando. Ah, es que los dos verbos están pegados, pero no sé si será así, pero para mí los dos los, tienen los, los dos verbos tienen la misma acción, o sea que ella está haciendo las dos cosas a la misma vez. No. She is watching a cooking co show. A cooking show es un, un programa de cocina. Ah. 
Va, entonces no. Le falta ahí la B y S. La B. She is. She is watching a cooking show. On TV. I love when you get the exercise. Siempre que ya le damos la respuesta. I told you. I told you the answer. Yo le dije. Yo le dije. Es que yo le dije que faltaba la is. Le dije. Watching. She's watching. Ella está viendo. She's watching what? A cooking uh -huh. show. She's watching a cooking show. Well, hey, hurry up, people. Ya vamos a terminar. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. She's. She is watching. Mm -hmm. Usually I clean. No, 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 ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa ficha? Yard o yard? Oh. yard? Yard, yard, yard. Yard es el patio. The yard. The yard. Por eso okay. muchos, muchos, bueno, personas que se van de este país para otro país dicen, aquí estamos en la yarda, dicen. La yarda en realidad es el patio frontal. It's the yard. Yard significa patio. And people say, estamos en la yarda. And, and it is nothing to do with that, right? The yard, it's the garden, the patio. Okay, so, hey, you are about to finish. Okay, so no problem here. In this last minute. Okay, let me just visit the last. Okay, we finish, right? Ya no vamos de regreso. If you finish, we are going. Yes. Ya casi. Done. Yes. Okay, let's go back. Okay, let's bring people back. Hello, hello. Qué rápido, teacher. <laughs> no, people. Nos probamos todo ahora. No, pero teacher, no le alcanzo el tiempo. No, pero... Pues hasta con dolor de cabeza vengo. Ay, cómo va, Pi. Más estresada, más estresada. Más estresante. Hey, hombre. Ya no le puedo poner ejercicios así, así.
No, no teacher. No, 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 no. Sí, es like, ay, teacher, qué estresada vengo. Ya no le voy a poner ejercicio. No, teacher, sí, póngame. Oh, so, está bueno, teacher. No, it is, it is good. I mean, I, I cannot give you like a lot, a lot of time because I mean, we only have two hours together, right? And we need to take the best advantage of this. But you can get the picture, right? Si, si de repente le falta tiempo ahora, you can get the picture, you can analyze it later, you can evaluate it later, right? And, I'm alive. and I I'm have alive. you working in groups. Imagínese lo dejara trabajando solito. No Teacher, hacemos todo lo posible para for you to do it i know i know right but i know you can also do it i i know and one day you are going to thank me for pushing you like this yeah and that's good right imagínense si fueran presenciales en las clases Oh my god, <laughs> that would be fantastic. I, I would really love. Maybe one day we're going to see in the in the in the presential classes. That would be fantastic. That would be like cute. okay, like this, like this, like this. Oh, Moving work. Yeah, that would be perfect. That's very chivísimo. But we are enjoying this one, right? Aquí lo chévere que están en su casita, están cómodos. So let's set uh, here on the exercise and let's work on it okay so 12 mistakes were the ones uh, on the paragraph the most important thing on exercises like this one is to choose sentence by sentence okay cuando tenemos ejercicios así lo que tenemos que hacer primero es identificar el punto right y de ahí agarrar la oración completa and analyze the sentence and it says Today is Saturday in my family and I relaxing at home. Remember that when you have, for example, relaxing, you need to have a verb to be before. And it says, today is Saturday and my family and I are relaxing at home, right? Here in this case, the verb to be was missing. In the next sentence, right? ¿Hasta dónde llega la segunda oración? Identifiquemos eso. My father ¿Hasta dónde llega? My father usually uses his car on weekdays watching the car now. Okay. This is the second sentence. And then you go and say, what is the problem with this sentence? So you say, my father usually washes his car on weekdays. En esa primera parte, you have an adverb of frequency. And after an adverb of frequency, you have a simple present with ES, S, or uh, the, the ending, right? Just S. And that's correct, right? My father usually washes his car on weekdays, but he not washing the car now. Tenemos un ING, un negativo. What is missing on the sentence? The verb to be is not. Exactly no. right. The verb to be. We are missing here the verb to be. And it says, my father is um, not. But he, ah, sorry, lo puso en hora. Wow. Y ya ven el, el amor, vea. No se enamore. No se enamore, tío. No. <laughs> But he is not, right? He is not washing the car now. Okay, in this case, subject, the verb to be, not ing form. Good, very good. What is the next sentence? Hasta donde llega la siguiente oración? Now he is reading about, about his reading card. Uh -huh. What is the correction on this one? Now he is reading a book. He is reading. reading, right? reading. In this case, you cannot say he is read a book. ¿Qué diría si lo dejamos así como está? Él está, lee, 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 lee. 
Oh, now he is he is read a book about cars. Él es oh. él es lee un libro. So that that's not logical, right? He is reading a book about cars. Very good. Let's identify the next sentence. My mother usually bikes. My mother usually but she's not bike now. Okay, but she is not baking. Now, no. right? She is not baking now. In this case, what is the problem on this sentence? The same thing, right? No. Yes. Okay. No. Volvemos al mismo. She usually tenemos a verb frequency. The verb is correct, but she is not baking, right? Okay. She is not baking right now. Okay. She is not. Let's go with the next one. What is the next phrase? What is the next sentence? Now she watching. She watching a cookie show on TV. Exactly. Now she is watching, right? You have. She is watching because in the case here, and you might say, teacher probably are watching and cooking. Huh? In this case, cooking is not an ing form. No es una forma de ing. Porque está viendo un show de cocina. She is watching a cooking show on TV. Okay. Cooking show significa un show de cocina. Right? She is watching a cooking show right now. What is the next sentence, people? My older sister usually does her homework on weekdays. My older sister usually does her homework, homework on weekdays. But... She is them. Do her homework now. Okay. Her homework now. Her homework now. This is simple present, present continuous. And in this case, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, my older sister usually does her homework on weekdays. Eso lo está bien. Because you have an adverb of frequency in a normal form. But she isn't doing. 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 Ooh, so you said doing or doing? Doing. 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 Okay. Doing. Cada vez que decimos doing, se muere un diccionario. Don't do that. Oh, no. ¿Quién mató el diccionario? Now she. Okay, we have pictures. She now she paints some pictures. She is painting. She is painting. 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 She is painting. 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 She is painting some pictures, right? Picture. She is painting some pictures. Está haciendo unas pinturas. She is painting some pictures. What about the next one? My little brother. This is really how my father was the car. He is not. Aha, he is. No. He is not helping, right? He is not helping my father now. Excellent. My little brother usually helps my father wash the car. That's correct. But he is not helping my father now. As you can see here, hacemos una como una eh, comparación de las cosas que hacemos normalmente con las que no estamos haciendo ahorita. Imagine if you say, I always watch TV at night, but I am not watching TV right now. That can be a comparison between the simple uh, present and the present continuous, right? And the next one, what is the next phrase? Now, now, play now, play with play. His guy. Ah, now he plays with his toys. He is playing. He is playing, right? Exactly like that. Now he is playing, playing. with his toys. And me? I clean. I cleaning. I am cleaning. Okay, I am. Okay, and me, usually I in the yard, but I am not, am not, not cleaning. cleaning. I am no. not cleaning the yard now. Now I tell you about my family. 
I'm telling. I'm I telling. am telling. telling. I am telling you about my family right now. I am telling you about my family. How about you? What are you doing now? What are you doing, right? What are you doing now? Now. That's the paragraph, right? Here you have it in a very beautiful and more organized way. So this was the exercise. Challenging, but not impossible. Now, I invite you to be more careful, right? ¿Por qué les hago esos ejercicios? Para que aprendamos a ser detallistas con las cosas, para que aprendan a leer las oraciones, a no buscarlos así a lo loco, ¿verdad? así como, ah, this one, the other one. Go one by one, reading each sentence at the same time, okay? Sentence by sentence, and then you can discover what the mistake on the sentence is. Well, so I think we have had a very good practice. I am going to share this one with you because this is the practice that we are going to be using tomorrow. Okay, se la voy a compartir para que la puedan empezar a revisar. This is the one for tomorrow, okay? We are going to be working on this one. And for sure, on the chat, I also send you the other practice for the sentences. The one that is on the chat, la que les envía al chat, is uh, to organize the sentences, okay? So, what is the difference on this one? That you use it to talk about the future, right? When you use this one to talk about the future. And it says, I am traveling tomorrow, okay? You use it to talk about plans for the near future. Lo usamos para hablar de planes en el futuro cercano. ¿Qué estoy haciendo más tarde? ¿Qué voy a estar haciendo más tarde? I am not traveling tomorrow. Are you traveling? And then you have the same form. The only thing that changes is that here you use something about the future. You don't say right now. Okay, I am traveling later. I am traveling tomorrow. I am traveling tonight. Okay, aquí ocupamos un momento en el futuro cercano to complete these sentences. For example, here it says, Sam have lunch at the cafeteria tomorrow. Okay, si se fijan aquí, esta frase que tenemos es de futuro cercano, tomorrow. ¿Cuál es la frase de futuro cercano in number two? Have you fly? Next week, right? Next week. What about number three? What is the phrase for near future? ¿Qué les puede decir que es para un futuro cercano? In number three. Few days. In a few days. days, right? In a few days. Number four. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. In ten minutes, right? I am going to be sleeping in ten minutes. Well, you, because no, I, I have another class. <laughs> in this one here. What about the next one? I get up very early tomorrow tomorrow morning, right? And it says to the party because it's something that is not happening right now. Ahorita no ha pasado la fiesta. I go to the shopping mall this weekend, right? This weekend. Este fin de semana. Now we go out on Friday. on Friday, on Friday, right? Tomorrow is Saturday. It's going to happen later in life, right? Hasta el sábado, eso va a pasar después. I play football tomorrow afternoon, and it says at 2.30. Sally, turn off the TV. We are eating dinner. Soon. And no, we have a meeting today. It's at three o'clock tomorrow. So this is the same, right? This is the same. And the only difference that we have here is that we use it for activities that are going to happen in a near future, okay? I am going to send you this one so you have the chance to complete it. Se lo voy a enviar para que tengan el chance de completarlo using ing forms, okay? You are going to change the verb here in ing form, okay? 
so that it's going to be tomorrow, my dear students. It was a very nice class full of practice and I am going to see you tomorrow for another class, okay? okay tomorrow, teacher, tomorrow, tomorrow is for listening tomorrow. and, and speaking, okay? <laughs> tomorrow. Tomorrow. Have tomorrow. a beautiful night, bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, bye-bye.